So by clumping this, these hairs, by grouping them together, I can add an extra, I can add another layer. Or, or make the layer more significant. And then we'll just darken the areas around it. See, we're just going to extend this this black spot. We're going to extend a, a bit around. So then this, this light hair is going to be overlapping the, the black hair below. See, the good thing about this technique is that you can turn any, any hair black. Basically just by darkening the, the indentations. And like I said, spots are just that, it's just black hair. And black hair reflects light. And when it reflects light, you, you're able to see those black areas. So it's better than having just a black spot on the on the animal. It just doesn't look, at least for me, it just doesn't look doesn't look right. Because it's almost like it's just a huge hole on the on the animal. But by doing this, you're adding. It's something there. It's something on the animal. You you can tell that it's black hair because it's got reflections, got shadows, and see it's got hair growing out from the from the black spot. Okay, we have that, and then we'll add another layer here, which I see. See by darkening this. Extending out this uh, this group of hairs. I can bring out uh, another layer. Let's see, we have that. We extend that, that out, and then we we darken the hairs in between them. And just like that we have another layer. So we have this layer here above and we have these these hairs below. But because these hairs are coming from the bottom, the ends are gonna be darker. Or if you could see that. I know that the written tutorial seems simple, but Basically, basically this is it right here this is like the, the extended version of that tutorial this is all these are all the steps that I that I do for all my drawings You see another layer up here. See, this this layer is more evident because it's it's from this side. So it goes here, it ends here, and it continues across here, and it continues into here. So it's it's these hairs but overlapping the same colored hair so white hair overlapping lighter hair
I know this is a lot to take in and a lot to learn and a lot to uh, a lot of steps, a lot of explanation, but you know this is the only way that I can think of to to explain it. But I will add uh, other tutorials. I'll add just a uh, just a lesson tutorial on how to use this technique okay so let's start in let's start in this spot So we're going to refine the edges, bring out the tips from the lighter hair. So whenever you see this dull pencil, it's 6B, that's the 6B pencil. The one with the tip, that's a 5H. And then the wooden pencil is a 2H. Basically these are the pencils that I used the most and then uh, the blending I get everything else in between with, uh, with the blending tools See here, I could also add a long clump right here that extends out from all the way back here. Could have a single hair. So then going back again and just darkening the shadows around it see things like that is what makes the drawing real look more realistic small details like that again you see here we can highlight this here See, I don't know if you can see these. There's a couple of white, like single loose hairs that are. That I want to highlight. There's that one. Let me turn it. There's this one here. There's a couple here. See, as you darken the, the hair, as you darken the areas more, you'll be able to see these. these. And these are the hairs that we added uh, last. Remember those uh, random individual hairs that we're adding with the needle? These are it. So we could we can darken the, the hairs below. So 
for the standard one. See? And it's the same thing for like the remaining area. See, same here. We'll add a big clump of hair right here. It's the curves. That one here. That one here. The curves this way. Again, group the hairs that you see that make sense, the ones that look like they should be clumped together. Like you can't follow my mind intentions because my intentions are going to be completely different than yours, right? So you need to pick out the ones that make sense. And once you pick them up, then you just darken the like the hairs around them. Then blend the the clump back back into the with the remaining with the other hair around it. Alright you guys, so I'll stop it here. I know I know it's this tutorial is getting like really long but these are these are the necessary steps that, that must be taken to draw these to make it look like like real hair or realistic looking hair. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next video.